All right, so <clears throat> I'm unable to like, I'm not sure I can move the photos back to my phone, but I've got photos of the desk build from when I began. So this is kind of like a journey of how it got built. So I actually started by, this screenshot was what I wanted to buy at the time. I found on eBay, um, it's an Alienware computer and the case was pretty cool. It has like these mechanical functions. And then actually what happened was I didn't win the bid and I wasn't very happy. So I didn't, I kind of wanted, you know, a cooler, cooler kind of setup as well. So, you know, I kept looking around and then came along. Um, I looked through, I found this idea, custom water cooled PC within a desk design. And then, so that kind of sparked my interest and I felt like that was cooler than just getting this PC. And then, so the coolest one I found was this guy's. Now that's basically what I based it off, except I just couldn't do these top things because they were a bit hard. But this is essentially what I based it off. So shout out to the guy. I think his name was, um, his account was Meg Mega Mega Deblo or something. Kind of, uh, I'll leave it in the description. You know, because um, I was young at the time. I was what, like 14, it was in year eight. It took like nine months to build at the time. But you know, I just saw, I liked it. So I just did my best to try and copy all the features of the desk build um, so you know I'll leave links to the video so you can watch them but these are like the the photos of how he built his his is way cooler like all these angles I had no idea how to build those so I just did my best to build my one then um, what so here's his water cooling system I kind of had to think of my own because I didn't I didn't um, there wasn't enough um, photos of his system for me to copy exactly so I kind of just had to work out how to do it for mine. And then we go further down. Um, here's when I first bought the wood from Bunnings. And I here's the living room. Here's where we are now. At the time I got a bit crazy. I laid down plastic all over the floor just to prevent prevent any, you know, damages and whatever to the to the carpet. And there's some tools. Um, we have some wood here and because you know we live in an apartment so I don't really have any workshop space so I did my best so we have a balcony that kind of helps um, here I just you know at the time I really didn't know how to do any woodwork I was really beginner at everything like I couldn't do woodwork I didn't know how to build a computer I just jumped right in and learned everything on the go so this is me learning how to use the handsaw I just had this scrap cut like off cut and then I, I clamped it to the table and then learn how to use the, the handsaw. Um, we had a bunch of tools at home, but really like the most of the build, I just got a drill from my uncle, handsaw, and then I bought a jigsaw later on just because I needed to cut it out for the, for the hole in the desk. Now, this photo, this is pretty important. This was, I went to a friend's house, family friend. I didn't actually know how to use a drill, so I went there for dinner, and then after dinner, he took me down to his workshop and then just taught me how to, basics on how to use a drill, so. Cheers to him. And then learning how to use the saw again. Um, at the time I thought I could do a miter cut with a hand saw. Um, you can't, <laughs> it's a bit hard, it's not gonna be flush, um, which I know now, but you know, at the time, you know, young, naive me. And then this was cutting the panels for the wood, for the, the cupboards of the, the shelving compartments. So here we are, we have two of them. Um, I got some sandpaper as well, so that's all I had. <laughs> These, I think these are um, swimming goggles. I don't know why I had those. I think I was trying to protect myself. I really, yeah, didn't know much at the time. But you know, it worked out, I built it. So here was one of the early photos of one of the cabinets. It was just three sides and then two of those funny angular panels. Um, these are just random screenshots of things I was gonna buy. Now this was early progress of what I was gonna do. So here are the two cabinets with the shelf. Um, we'll see what else we have here. So like that, these are the sides. I screwed them in and then I used wood filler, fill wood filler or like some white acrylic kind of thing to just cover up the holes before, you know, we paint them. And then here's kind of the bottom of one of them. Um, I got this chair, which is right behind me, which was really insanely cheap. This red chair, kids racer chair was on clearance from office works for 15 bucks. Here it is. It's kind of a bit broken now. Might get a new one soon, but you know, lasted lasted me like so many years for now. Didn't cost very much, so that's kind of exciting. 
Um, this is the power supply I got. Um, got you know the the one with the most which is power just because I got lots of pumps and everything. So better use that. And it's Cooler Master, good brand. I think some some components are made in Japan or the whole thing. I forget. And we keep going down. We got here. I think we got more wood. Um, here's Young Me with Mum's work buddy who has a truck who helped me out in um, buying things. Um, we have here, here's when I first painted the, the desk. This is um, the undercoat. I painted um, the cupboards. And I think here, I didn't take that many photos during the build, but here I already installed this angular panel and the side panels. And then here's, oh, here's where I painted it. So I basically, we had some old bed sheets. I covered the balcony with that so we didn't get paint everywhere. And then I just painted away. Um, here's some more photos of that. Just painting with this undercoat, dual lux undercoat. Here was the sound card I bought. It was pretty cool because I think something weird happened, like someone bid 152 or something. And then it came back as I got the second offer for my highest bid, which was like 40 something dollars. So I ended up copying it for $40, which was not bad. Uh, we keep going down. Here was me testing my hi-fi systems. So that's the, the black one at the bottom is the control amp. There's the audio um, uh, analog monitor. Here's our speakers. And then there is a power amp. Here was the old hi-fi system. It was on a stand, which is right there, which I still have a radio on. I can connect the radio to the to the desk if I wanted to, but just don't really have space and no need for it at this point. But you know, that'd be kind of a fun project to do one day. Um, here's what, when I got the sound card. I opened it up to have a look. Looks pretty good. Components look good, looks clean, looks nice. Um, that's not it. Um, I bought some of this stuff, which I've still got somewhere. That's just that was just for the speakers to um, keep the keep them in good condition. Here is just a photo of cable connectors. So I wanted to use custom cabling, which we have here. Um, we've got these hi-fi speaker stands, which is the the ones under the speakers. We have the monitor, analog monitor. We've got, looking at this, these were the plans that I, you saw probably in another video as well of the book of things I needed to buy for the water cooling components. Now here's probably the exciting bit. Here's when I started laying out what I thought it would look like on the desk. So that was like one of the original iterations of the design. There was another possibility. There was another possibility. Oh, that's a jigsaw. So I bought one of these, not this specific one, just a different one. Um, and then here's when I started putting some cabling in. So that kind of gives an idea on how it ended up. Except I've got the drives on the right hand side because I needed to put the audio monitor where the drives are in this photo. Uh, I also have these. This was this is my SSD. It's an M.2 because there's a port on the on the um, motherboard, so I was able to use one of those. I have this just in case I didn't need it. Ended up using it. This adapter to use into the PCI ports, bit um, technical. And here's when I first started, I put the glass on just to get an idea what it looked like. So turn it sideways, thought that was pretty cool. There was a CD player thing. Um, here I was just messing around, half things weren't painted and everything, so it was a bit messy here. And I just put on a random keyboard, this Apple keyboard that we had. But there's the sound cards in, there's a water cooling block and a bunch of you know the cables ready to go in now that wasn't painted yet this panel so that's why it looks a bit like an oreo and then these were just rosewood blocks that i just used to prop that up just to see what it looked like there's what the speakers would look like and and we'll keep going so down here here's probably where it started looking more like it you know there's the, there's the pump pump components in place, fans in place, and keep going. So that wasn't that wasn't painted yet. The bottom I painted the top section first because I think that was nice and flat. So I just did that first. There's the glass installed, and then the 
cabinets were to be painted. And now here's when it's all painted. So that looks nice and black after they were all painted. Uh, it was just two, two coats of, I think I did one coat of undercoat, two coats of top coat. I don't really remember, but something like that, just to make sure the black, you know, really stays there. Uh, more pictures of the computer. Now this is what the power board looks like underneath. 10 port power board just installed at the back of the desk with just pine blocks to attach it to the back of the desk. Um, that, you know, gives lots of flexibility, even though actually I still ran out of ports anyway. I needed to use more adapters. Here's when I built that top panel thing. So that looks great. That looks really nice and angled, nice and presentable for the speakers to sit on. And we then have this, another daytime shot of it. Keep going down. Um, I bought a few like different components, but I ended up selling like this one. I think I sold, I ended up not using it. I just buy it if it's, you know, on sale and if it doesn't suit what I need, then I ended up selling it. So that was a pretty good motherboard, but you know, I wanted to go for the black and white kind of look instead of this game of red look. And then if I wanted the red, I, you know, I can use the LEDs to make the desk go red. Um, moving down here, here was getting a bit messy, but I had some poster up there. Speaking of posters, I meant to have a drawing here, except it kept falling down, so there it is. That little bird thing, it's just sitting on that cupboard. It was here, looked nice, but you know, it keeps falling down because I need stronger double-sided tape or drilling it into the wall. And continuing. These are some earlier photos actually of building those cabinets. Um, had, the, had the family over. Like, what was it, uncle, two cousins, two family friends. Everyone helping me. Here's my me in, in pajamas on the on the balcony, wearing Crocs. You know, the Asian things. Um, crawling under there to install these brackets. Here's me using the drill. Um, there's me working more on it on the balcony, using wood filler. And there I am, young me, wearing the same shirt as I am now. Um, what else do we have? So here's, okay, so now we've actually gone back in time. Now these are some earlier photos. This is when we first went to buy wood with my little cousin. So yeah, we got the guys to cut it up for us. So most of the work was really done by those guys in terms of sizing. I worked out what measurements I need from that little book and then we took it out to them. Here's all the wood we have, all cut up nice and ready. Me and the cousin, his mum's um, work partner who actually who has the truck, which is why we could transport it home. And then another earlier shot of me building it with these <laughs> silly glasses. These actually have LED light up, which is pretty cool. Um, glue, just gluing the boards down. It's fine, what else do we have here? Now here was actually a bit of a difficulty. I built the top thing a bit too high the the top shelf so that was too high and the desk was way too high for me to use and I did not know how to fix it because I didn't have many tools at the time now I have the tools but you know at the time I did not so I asked this family friend who taught me how to use the drill who had a circular saw he came and helped me um, circular saw it down to the right size here's us living room the red chair um, and yes, yeah, so that's the end of this build. Um, we'll see if I can find any more photos anywhere else, but you know, that was the build process. So just to finish off the photos kind of side of things, I couldn't find the photos on my computer, but on my phone, they're on my Instagram. So if you want to have a look, um, here are like the finished product photos of early days. So that's when the speakers were still on the, on the, on the, on that black plank. And now they're on the stand, so better speaker quality and ability for a triple monitor. You know, double win. Here's the internals. Still looks like that. Um, you know, maybe slight changes. I've got, you know, different upgrades every now and again. So, you know, that's that.